Grace and peace, family. Grace and peace. Assalamu alaikum. Shalom. My at hotel. Namaste. Free the land, beloved. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. This is your sister with the curly braids, Vicki Dillard. And I'm so pleased to be with you here on my own channel at VickiDillard.tv. Please, beloved, let everybody that you know know that they can find me here weekly, um, at least once or twice a week to go live. Um, I say that because so many of you are used to seeing me uh, on other platforms that I've helped to build and other networks that I've helped to build over the years. Um, and so there have been some programming changes. Of course, you're going to see me on other platforms as well and networks, but there have been some changes. So I'm letting you know that now so they can find uh, where I am. I hear from you all in so many different ways. Some of you that end up finding me. So tell everybody, you know, uh, and one of the things that you can start doing is come on in, come on in, give us a big thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. OK, on the count of three, if you haven't, everybody hit that thumbs up button. Thank you for my red hearts and your kind compliments. Uh, as you come in, beloved, come on in, giving us a big thumbs up, thumbs up. Be sure to like and be sure to share the broadcast, okay? On the count of three. One, two, three, thumbs up. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Share, share, share. Share, 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 share. Now, family, let's go ahead and get this drive through. Um political broadcast going. Shout out to my dear brother, uh, Warren. He's there with First Work Media. So good to see you. Beloved, our moderator is a highlighting blue. There's my sister, another moderator, my soul sister, Rashida. Uh, they're highlighted in blue. Um, beloved, feel free to interact with them. Beloved, but also from time to time, they'll be putting important links, like the link that I already have pinned above. How many of you all have marked your calendars? I already see. My team told me that some of you are already registering. It's very inexpensive, only 30 something dollars. Save your seat for Sunday, February 11th. I'm going to be exposing um, the Neo Illuminati's plot. You all know that they pushed that pandemic on the whole wide world, tanked multiple economies, destroyed multiple businesses and families around the world. I exposed some of the stuff that they were doing in other uh, countries. And of course, your mainstream media, who is complicit uh, in the undoing of, in particular, uh, the American people, they helped to cover for this really new world order. Talk black to me. So I'm going to be discussing how they fail, and I'm going to show you how we assisted, how your black revolutionary brothers and sisters helped to assist and cause uh, traction and exposure of those uh, uh, devils to be exposed. Now, if you believe for one second that they're going to end at that, you're wrong. You all know that I'm also a spiritual teacher. Uh, I have my uh, monthly mastermind school. It's very inexpensive, only $45. You can join um, uh, the Vicky Diller Mystery School to absolutely change your life. I'm a spiritual teacher. That's in my nature. That's who I am. That's a part of my assignment on the planet. Why am I bringing this up? I'm bringing this up because it is essential that you understand that there is an unseen court and there's also unseen legislation that's happening in the ethers that influence Earth. Somebody put a globe in the chat. I said, somebody put a globe in the chat. I don't think y'all hear me. I don't think y'all hear me. So some of you don't understand that there are things that are being controlled. There's a blueprint. There's legislation, not just on Earth, baby. There was a there's a, a, a institutions in the unseen realms. So it behooves us. Listen closely. It is in our best interest to tap into the unseen so that we have an understanding about the prophecy and what's written. And actually how, baby, y'all, I may not even be able to say this because some of y'all ain't ready for this. I said some of y'all might not even be ready for this. I said some of y'all might not even be ready for this. Let me fix my beautiful roses. Y'all know I'm obsessed with my garden. Talk black to me, somebody. Let me do this so it don't fall. I um, some of you don't understand that there are certain spiritual things that can be altered. How many of you all know that the United States Constitution has been changed from its original form? Y'all better listen to me today. Shout out to my brother. Zebulon X, he's one of my biggest fans. Listen, or supporters. 
There's a such thing as the amendments to the constitutions. Yes. That means that the original legislation upon which the wicked white so-called founding fathers of this country was built, which of course treated black folks as property uh, and some old stuff. When it says all men are created equal, no, actually, not, no, no, and hell no, it wasn't. That's a lie. So they made some weak amendments to modify as society and American culture evolved. They did what they call amendments. Some of you don't understand that in the spiritual realm, there are some things that we can legislate and amend. But that's too heavy for some of y'all. But you got to be have a, have a high enough ranking and you need to have enough spiritual teaching and insight and practice to understand how to do that. I'm bringing all of this up because it's relevant to the pandemic. Talk black to me. Did you hear what I said right there? How many of you all remember that newspaper that came after me and put one of my posts in their newspaper because they were upset because I was questioning Tyler Perry taking the shot. And all I did was play what he said. Tyler Perry admitted on national television that it was the medical industry that reached out to him to get the shot. Remember, they, they demonetized us, remember? They cut off some of our videos. They did a whole lot of punitive measures to shut us down. So even when folks like me that did get into the details of a lot of the shots and all the stuff that they was putting in there, that's when I created a few years ago, the 911 underground pandemic offline. So I brought, brought in Brother Rizzo twice. I brought in Dr. Rowland, and then, then I'm doing this fourth one. But you need to be there. It's only $37. Click the link, save your seat, because I'm going to tell you what we need to do spiritually. I'm going to let you know the spiritual insight that I received. And baby, you got to understand, it's not who you think controls the world. Don't sit up here and tell me about how powerful the Illuminati is. There's another council. I said there's another council. That's spiritually powerful, spiritually potent, spiritually fit. So make sure you get your seat and tell everybody about it. And don't you dare miss it. Now, these are for the world leaders, the world shakers, the history makers. Those of us that are considered to be the nobodies, the deaf, the dumb, and the blind. The people that they say got records. The people that they say ain't rich enough. The people that's not accepted in establishment, media, and institutions. Talk black to me. Now, Vicky, get to where you're going with the quickness. I certainly will. <sighs> hit that thumbs up button. Everybody share, share, share. Make sure you're subscribed. Hit all notifications. Even though we know that the notifications it, it seem like don't go out like that. <sighs> but I always believe at the right time, the right people will hear the broadcast. So when you uh, copy the link uh, and share it, beloved, others can hear about it, okay? Now, watch this. Today's headline, how many of you all have been watching me cover the migrant invasion, the migrant crisis that have been taking place all throughout the United States and how it has been black Americans that has shocked all of the United States by pushing back so vehemently. And the reason we're pushing back and the reason it's shocking everybody because they're so used to black folks turning the other cheeks, cheek, letting everybody get everything, use us be blood suckers of the poor, ex exploit us, treat us like prey. And so the moment we say, wait a minute now, the moment we say, wait, 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 wait. The moment we say, we wake up and smell the bagongs, we say, we created America, we built America. You stole our labor, you stole us, you stole our land, you stole our intellectual property. And the reparations that's due to us is a debt, which means it's not negotiable, which means it's not discretionary. You don't pick and choose whether or not you're going to pay your debt. And so because you're playing dumb, we are pleased to be the debt collectors by our demands. Now, with that being said, y'all listen. Now, with that being said, black folks, and I've been discussing Chicago quite a bit because Chicago residents have sued the city. They're mad at the black Chicago Democrats, those that typically vote Democrat. Because they have been vehemently opposing them giving $9,000 housing vouchers to unlawful migrants who they turn around and call dreamers. Now, can you imagine they call a black person who violated the law a dreamer? You a criminal, but your government, your Congress comes up with a fluffy name to make it look like you cute. But the people who built America, 
They're not trying to clean up our records. They created laws and they created crimes so that they could put you back in prison and put you back in modern chains. You understand that, right? Now, if you understand that, you understand that, um, uh, that the Democrats in particular, the Republicans are just playing right in our face. Neither one of them want to give us reparations, right? They're playing right in our face because in a matter of two years, they sent, I'm saying, I believe based on belief and information, upwards of a half a trillion dollars to Ukraine. Now, some of you are going around here talking about, oh, America sent a hundred some billion to Ukraine. When I told you all that's a lie from the pit of hell, some of y'all kept quoting the lying New York Times types of Washington Post, type, Washington Post types of publications. Now, I listen to international news too. And I was listening to a foreign heads of state like in Russia, for example, the foreign minister there, Mr. Lavrov, he was breaking down some of the numbers. So I knew darn well it was some hundreds of millions of dollars at the point that America admitted it was a hundred million. But y'all was still quoting them to be safe. Now your government comes out and admit they spent at least 300 and something billion. So America, now they admit that. Then America slipped up and admitted last year that there was a six point something odd billion dollar error, accounting error to, to, to Russia, I mean to Ukraine. The hell? Do you think black family, they're going to let you make a 6.2, 6.5 billion with a B accounting error? And the only reason your government admitted to that because independent news outlets like this one was getting in that you know what? So your government showed you in a matter of two years, they can come up with between three to 500 billion. Almost a third to a half of a trillion dollar based on different estimates in no time, in the twinkling of an eye. They showed you during the pandemic when the uh, AAPI community, Asian, Asian Pacific Island community, claimed that they was experiencing discrimination during that short time. They came up with a robust campaign all at the same time with the complicity, complicity of mainstream media and the government to find a sneaky way to give the Asian community some money. So because the Asian communities disproportionately get money from black folks, their businesses were suffering during the pandemic after the first year. So your politicians and your campaign strategists help them strategize a campaign to demonize and make black folks the face of them getting beat up. That way they can be assured to get Republicans on board for any legislation. So your U.S. government, your Democrat government passed a criminal protection anti-crime bill just for the Asians in one year's time. And without the need for congressional approval, your Democrat government, the Biden-Harris administration, found $50 million that was already in the government. They redirected that $50 million just to the Asian community. How many of y'all heard anything since then about some stop Asian damn hate? Raise your hand in the chat if you've been hearing anything recently about some stop Asian hate. Somebody say that was a finesse. I told y'all from the jump it was a finesse. Now, black folks are still technically waiting on an anti-black crime bill, protection bill for us. How in the hell, in a matter of one year's time during the pandemic, they get a whole bill with Republicans on board for a crime bill for the Asians? And then your government just redirect $50 million that's already in different agencies, intergovernmental agencies, to just a community. Do you all see that? So because they were suffering during the pandemic, they came up with a sneaky way to blame Black folks because that's how they're going to get Republicans on board. Legislation and $50 million. So now they good. Because that 50 million held them over for a little bit during the pandemic. Thank you, sis. Miss Sister Hazina says she ain't heard anything. Rashida said, I haven't heard anything. That's what I thought, because it was a trick. So when I was going off on Sean King, when I was going off on you, uh, the black athletes, which I was funny looking self, running out there, posting and doing videos, talking about stop Asian hate, I was telling you ninjas to shut up.
Black family, I'm bringing this up because you need to learn this strategy. Not only did the pharmaceutical industry, not only did multiple other uh, 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 Illuminati, Illuminati entities have their own agenda, but the Asian community had their own agenda and benefited because they don't allow any tragedy to go to waste. So we need to wake up in Smith the Begonias so that we can learn how to benefit during a difficult time and cause money and legislation, favorable legislation to be pushed. They came up with a media campaign first. They created an environment where they were on code with the same Logan, stop Asian hate. They lobbied some of your con congressmen and both Republicans and Democrats came on. And with no need for legislation, they magically found $50 million already in the government, renamed it and directed it to the Asian community. There is a plot that's afoot. And there are many moving parts. It's not just one. This is what I need you to understand. But when certain people and groups recognize an opportunity where they can benefit, they don't hesitate to do so. And I'm simply telling you, Black family, that you ought to be the same. We ought to be the same. But you got to know how the game is played. And that's what Dr. Claude was trying to tell you, that politics is a game. And he told you that it's only Black folks that get involved in politics just because. He said it ought to be quid pro quo, which means you get something and they get something. That's right, sis. Now, this video under the Copyright Act of 1976, I want y'all to watch this clip about a recent report. Some of you already heard about it because I've been doing coverage here as well as on one of the other platforms like African Diaspora News Channel. I've been uh, My team has been helping me put up clips on other platforms as well, showing coverage of this outrageous, what some are calling a migrant invasion this crisis that's happening around the world. And the reason why it's important to black folks is not because we hate any other group. We recognize that we've been played. We recognize that if they can come up with a third to a half of a trillion dollars in a matter of two years to give to Ukraine, if they can supply resources to the white Afghans a couple of years ago, if they can help legal and illegal immigrants, and if the oppressive class is still getting benefits and tax breaks and all kind of other little sleek, slick legislation, that brings them economic. Don't sit up here and cry, family, about what they getting away with. Do you recognize how silly you look and how you look like a slave still and a beggar? Wow, they getting all that. How come we don't know, ninja? Now, I know some of you don't like this word, but you need to hear it in, in righteousness. You got to have a little bit of savage in you. Some of you can never rule no kingdom. You too weak. You don't know how to put down the axe and when to do it. You'll start getting emotional. you start getting shakes the moment you have to hold your white oppressor accountable. Hell, they wouldn't need no attorneys to intercede for them. Your funny looking self will run out there to the court. When they get ready to hang they funny looking self, you will jump out there and mess up. We try to hit the oppressive target, politically speaking. And your funny looking self are jumping away. See, you don't have what it takes. You can't even stand me calling somebody by the name they deserve when I'm dealing with your wicked politicians and their Democrat shields. I discussed this the other day. Three black servicemen, women, were murdered in the military in Jordan. We ain't got no business being in no war over there in the first place, black family. And the reason it's happening is because your U.S. government continues to give upwards of $4 billion every single year to Israel. The Israeli government, whose leadership, whose government leader, former Israeli consul, came out two, three years ago, three, about three some years ago, and said and was recorded, and I did nonstop coverage on it some years ago and recently. She said that black 
American youth are a threat to Israel. I expose to you all credible allegations and credible, credible receipts that seem to indicate that the Israeli maneuvers that, first of all, some of you all may, may not know that many of your almost 2,000, a large portion of your almost 2,000 police forces, whether it's local, state, or federal, many of them are trained by former members or current members of the Mossad from Israel. So not only do you pay money to bring them over here in the United States to train police, do you all know that your police fly to Israel from time to time to get training from the Israelis? And that some of the maneuvers that they taught our people can be traced to maneuvers from the Israelis. So some of the, our people that end up dying or severely injured were maneuvers that are credibly alleged to have been taught by the Israelis. And y'all gonna sit up here and ask me, why am I talking about international stuff? The hell you mean, silly? I'm the original woman ninja. This is my world. I'm supposed to be ruling it. You don't question me if I'm making you, foundational black Americans, the priority. Who you see go as hard as a black feminine for reparations? Ninja, don't try to check me on nothing. It may not be for you to talk about international stuff. The hell you mean when I'm the original woman? And you want to know why I want to weigh in on what's going on in the world? Fool, why do you think the world is in, is in the hell of a state it's in? What's wrong with you, slowness? I know it's too much for you, but just watch your mouth when you point it to Vicky. Just be sure when you're at home, you're not gossiping about me. Just make sure that when I post something, you don't say something dumb. It's too much for you, but shut up, grown up. I make us the priority. So what's your problem? I make us the priority. I said, so what's your problem? I said, I make us the priority. So Ninja, what's your problem? You better watch your mouth. Some of you like little sheep. You hear somebody say one little something over there in the corner somewhere and you want to come over here and feel some kind of way. You are grown up with three grandkids and you still under peer pressure. I don't know if I'm going to like on Vicky's international post because I know uh, this group over here don't want us to talk. So I'm not going, what's wrong with you, ninja? You got me messed up. I'm tapped into another government that's interdimensionist that understand there's more that's going on in the world. And there are unseen implications. That's where I come in. You better watch your mouth. Got grown, yeah, sis, grown up with three grandkids under peer pressure. Well, I don't know if I should like on her post about the Israelis. Because I know they're going to get mad. They, I know it's some of them that don't think we ought to talk about it. No, you don't need to talk about international. If I'm speaking about justice and the spirit of justice, Ninja, click the button. Moreover, for years and 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 years, and years we're strong for us. You have had an unequivocal voice for pro reparations for foundational black Americans. You've seen me fight for you and shut down foreign voices that would get in the way of what's due to us, haven't you? So what the hell is your problem, silly? Ninja, do you think that I was in the belly of the beast in the face? Do you think that some of the high level entities that I dealt with is going to make me weak because you ninjas that's on the internet think I'm scared of what somebody else going to say? I run what's going on over here. Now, I know I'm light years ahead because of a prophetic voice, but it's going to take you about 12 years to catch up. I'm going to be on to something else. And you're going to you gonna, then, you're going to like on something I said because you done heard somebody else that you like say, well, they said something, so it must be all right now. You so, you so, you, that's, you can never rule nothing. You could never run nothing. Wow. 
in my own this. I know I got to whip my, whip people sometimes. It just don't apply to you, so you ain't got no reason to get mad. But I know what spirit I'm dealing with. I said I know what spirit I'm dealing with. Some of you don't know how powerful you are. So if a conversation exceeds one or two subjects you're used to hearing, you go to shake it. Oh, 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 God. Ninja, you sound crazy, fool. Shut up. That's me being diplomatic and graceful and kind. Jeez Louise. Now, Vicky, move on. Please move on. But this was nowhere in the notes, nowhere in the intentions, nowhere in the... <laughs> God, today. I know what I'm dealing with out here, these funny looking spirits. Man, I'm a magician. You got me messed up. Don't none of you run nothing over here like that because you're scared. Now, all the people, some of the people that's coming out, talking about Foundation of Black Americans, Revolution, fool, y'all wasn't been going as hard and as long as me on that. And you giving your, your retweets and your reposts and your tuning in to that. And Ninja, where was you at some years ago when I started, when I was doing my thing? Outrageously. I got the second, the current press secretary that's got me blocked. I had the view host blocking me. I had your little famous celebrities and politicians and talking heads mad at me, coming for me, contacting me. Where was y'all at? I'm trying to see. I was doing that for you. Again, it's not for you to talk about, but you better watch your mouth when it come to me. That's all I'm saying. Just, just focus on you. Focus on you. Focus on you. God, today, Vicky, how did you, how did, how did we do? That's about how, I, family, y'all know. <laughs> y'all know spirit don't never lead me not to say something that don't need to be said. Y'all, you don't know, I be affected dimensions and mindsets. It's, it's different kind of people that listen to me. So I'm shutting down some stuff. And let me hit that camera right there. Just shut down some more stuff that y'all can't see that's going on right now. Scared to death, grown-ups, but grandkids. Don't want to like on my posts on international stuff. Funny-looking spirits. Scared you, little, what, what we going to do with you cowards? Thumbs up, thumbs up, family. Share, share, share. God, today, Vicky, please play the, the video, okay? By this, look what happened. And I'm going to tell you why I'm bringing this up. And I'm going to tell you why this is so profound. This is on the copyright from 1976, okay? Y'all ready? I know y'all like Vicky. We've been ready about 30 minutes ago. <laughs> Let me make sure I got my sound as I cue this. Watch this brief clip from the news. Uh, Fox 5 begin tonight with a disturbing crime caught on camera showing a group of people punching and kicking two NYPD officers in Times Square over the weekend. So far, five arrests have been made, but four of those suspects have already been released on bail. Well, Ashley Rodriguez is live in Times Square with how police are responding to this disturbing incident and what we're learning about those responsible. Ashley, that video just appalling. Y'all listen. Absolutely. And police say it was up to 12 men that attacked two officers. Now, law enforcement officials say that these men were migrants. These are supposed asylum seekers. And police say if they were brazen enough to attack two uniformed officers, there's no telling what they'd be willing to do to the average citizen. And the city allowed them to go free. You saw the video. Reprehensible. Cowards. The NYPD reacting to surveillance video taken from West 42nd Street in Times Square around 8.30 Saturday night. Police say a group of up to 12 men was being disorderly. Two officers told them to move along. The gang looks like they're going to comply. But when the officers try to take one uncooperative man in a yellow shirt into custody, around seven others surround them, punching and kicking the officers in the head and in the body while they are on the ground. First for our cops, I'm proud of what they try to do. They stay in the fight. But now, let me stop right here in case you all get something twisted. Are we discussing this because we sitting here worried about cops getting beat up? Now, I'm not advocating us to be the aggressor. You all know I don't advocate us to be unjustly the aggressor. I'm bringing this up for two reasons. Number one, I'm a spiritual. 
which means that some of the stuff that we see and take place in our government, and in this case with the NYPD, some of us say calm. <laughs> Somebody say that's not the city. J uh, Rudy Giuliani, when he was governor, that exact uh, that exacted a modern Jim Crow on the black population, the stop and frisk. That's not NYPD. NYPD that is similar to many other uh, police departments that disrespect black folk. Talk black to me, somebody. And what other high profile? A, a black murders that took place by police there in New York. So now you're getting your butt beat by felons and then y'all sit up. Now, if they broke the law to come here, because that's what they are, criminals. Why are you sitting there shocked that they beating up police? They broke the law to get here. They already in criminal. Is this, you see how they go? They already broke the law to get here. So they're already criminals. Now, I know some of y'all in y'all mind say, but it don't feel that bad. They just trying to get a better life. Ninja, how many of your black family and loved ones who committed little petty crimes that was only trying to put food on the table? They're not a, 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 a they're not someone that's a career criminal or something. They are apologetic. They wish that they hadn't done it. They, 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 they go out and work and they start businesses and they start jobs only to be legally discriminated against, only for the book to be thrown at them, only because the, the uh, only for your your uh, 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 the system to keep a record on them so that they are legally discriminated against, which means they don't get the best jobs, which means that they're denied certain loans and stuff, which means that they're denied certain housing. I'm trying to tell you. There's a compassion and an empathy that goes out immediately for people that break the law. But I'm trying to get you to understand that your black family, when there were petty crimes that they committed, they're telling you that's how they didn't mean no harm. Some of them were in desperate situations. But nobody understood that. But you sit up here and come up with a whole new name instead of calling them a criminal, you call them a dreamer. I'm bringing this up. Because every issue that happens in the United States is directly or indirectly connected to what's happening, the mistreatment of us. That's why this is an issue. We're not sitting up here worrying about no New York Police Department getting beat up. <laughs> I mean, just as keep it real. We're bringing this up to let you all know this is something spiritual. This is a little thing that's known as karma. And this is a little thing we're trying to let you know because of your mistreatment of us, you're going to always get that everlasting work from the unseen government. Please catch that. The irony. Somebody say the irony. Somebody say the irony. It was hard, hard to come back. They got bumps, bruises, and scratches and pain. Eventually, officers were able to find and arrest four of the gang. A fifth was arrested Monday. But once cops brought them in, bail reform laws allowed them to go free, something that most likely wouldn't have happened in their home countries, according to the NYPD. Again, did you catch that? So illegals who violated the law to get here, you acting like you're shocked that they beating up the police. Watch this. And they already out on bail. Illegals are protected by the laws in the United States. How many black American citizens do you think would be immediately released on bail if they jumped the police and it was all recorded. Notice how the police didn't unalive any of the, th those gangs. I said, notice they didn't have the same reflex, a um, um, murderous, bloody reflex that they always have with our people. How is it that they could restrain themselves like that? But you leave it. The people that was violating the law, they criminals already. You ain't got no legit record of who they are. So if anybody should be extremely concerned and you should have had a reflex to protect yourself, how come none of that kicked in? Somebody say the irony. That's why I'm bringing this up. Ain't nobody sitting up here crying no river for no wicked NYPD officers. I'm not saying those particular officers were wicked, but y'all know I'm talking about the system as a whole. Talk black to me. Y'all gonna learn to stop messing with us. You think that because you get away 
with disrespecting and mistreating somebody for so long that you ain't gonna never get got. God, that's from the dictionary, not the dictionary. That's from the dictionary, not the dictionary, my book of words. Miss Hazine, I love you so much. That's one of my supporters. Miss Hazine, I just got your check. Miss Hazine, and, and your family, I bless your family. My sister, Miss Hazine, she's one of my spiritual students, been with me for a long time. Y'all from time to time, she'll send checks. She's dealing with stuff in her own family, but she is so strong and powerful and always talking about how the te my uh, spiritual teachings have blessed her to overcome y'all multiple deaths in her family and multiple different, different, uh, different types of difficulty that she's had to overcome. I'm just talking about somebody without giving too much detail. That's a testimony right here in the chat. Love you so much. Family, but the irony of the police and NYPD at that. Y'all think about that. Y'all think about that. Consequences for your actions. They should be sitting in righteous. They should have been indicted this week and have their thing caught and go to jail. Police sources add. So the police said that the guys should be sitting in Rikers. He said they should be indicted and they should be going to jail. No, they out free. Brazenly violated the law to get here. You all brazenly tell them to come so that you can give them housing and shelter and food. I did a broadcast the other day. Y'all, some of y'all saw it here. I did it on another network on African Diaspora News Channel too. Just put the clip up on a couple of other social media platforms. What happened? Just the other day, New York. Two migrants that was in the cafeteria start fighting. And one of them unalived another one. Y'all go to my Instagram page and look at that. Fiki X Dillard. It's on, it's on TikTok too. I am Vicky Dillard. I talked about it on African Diaspora News Channel. You can watch the whole broadcast there. And I think I briefly talked about it the other day here at VickyDillard.tv. These illegals came here. These criminals. Now, this is my point when I put up that clip the other day. When... um. The migrants was fighting each other. One of them was unalived. It ended in a fatality. Watch this. Watch this. I said, wait a minute. Remember, whenever the Democrats, I got some lipstick on my teeth. Um, that's how hard I'm talking, y'all. <laughs> y'all, how y'all, how many of y'all know every time we're talking about illegal immigration and we start to object to them giving tangibles to people that's not citizens over us? How many of y'all know that the Democrats tell us? They're fleeing their country that's got a lot of violence. How many of you all know they tell us that they're fleeing their country where it's just so terrible? They're getting away from terrible gangs and crime and stuff. Isn't that what they tell us? They tell us that these good people are coming here to get away from horrible, terrible, violent conditions. No, you the terrible up in the New York Migrant Center at the cafeteria, probably fighting over free food. You can't sit up here and tell me you fleeing violence and terrible condition in your country when you the terrible. You can't tell me all these folks are coming here because it's so violent and terrible and poverty stricken at home when they in the Migrant Center eating free food at the cafeteria and one of them get probably shanked. Because they like them knives and stuff. <laughs> it's all black to me. Notice how the Democrats have tried to keep this quiet. Do you all understand that these, this is your ancestors and the unseen government that's exposing this in ways that they can't contain? Not only that, I'm going to be exposing another reason why they're allowing them to come here. How many of y'all saw that video I put up where the congressman, state congressman in Illinois, Y'all, yeah, I was screaming so hard. I did this video. He said that Chicago is a welcoming city. Now, I was, you know, when you first heard that, you would get mad. Watch this. He threw some big shade. He said Chicago is a welcoming city. He said, so if we're going to welcome the migrants, the first thing we need to welcome the migrants to, this is what the, the state senator said, is to the health department. Y'all, I screamed. He said, because they're bringing, he's concerned about them bringing diseases and stuff across the border. This is the reason why I want y'all not to miss this very inexpensive, inexpensive $30-some 
911 Underground webinar that's coming up Sunday, November 11th, because I'm going to break down for you some of the minutes that the world leaders had in Davos, Switzerland, and I'm going to let you know why they're allowing this domestic war of illegals in the United States and some old stuff. Did you hear what I said? So if a state Illinois congressman is sitting there saying, hell, we need to welcome them to the health department. And y'all remember Brandon Johnson got in trouble because that five-year-old migrant whose family was here illegally was in the shelter. The five-year-old passed and nobody is rejoicing in that. We don't want to see that. But then Brandon Johnson, to cover his behind, came out and started talking about how, oh, they come in here sick. Wait a minute. When all of your black constituents was giving you that everlasting work and objecting to those uh, 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 illegals that was coming here that they thought might be criminal, y'all were putting them in their neighborhood. They were voicing so many different concerns. When did you know that they was coming here with all these sicknesses? I suggested to you all to start talking to an attorney and maybe the city and Brandon Johnson and the rest of them need to be sued because they put the population at risk. When did they know these folks were coming here sick and they were still trying to stick them in your neighborhoods and put them in public places? Guess what happened after I did that video? Some days later, a report came out that said some emails were released that showed that they were aware of, of, of roach infestation and some other sanit uh, uh, unsanitary conditions that was taking place in there. They want this. Y'all don't understand it. That's what I'm, I'm part of the stuff I'm going to talk to you about with this upcoming pandemic agenda and how they're trying to get here. Remember when the last pandemic, y'all can't forget, I can't say too much because I don't want to fool around with this algorithm. Y'all know by the time they told us that, 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 that this, when they would start pushing this COVID stuff, remember? All of a sudden, it was already spreading in different cities in the United States. How did that happen in one day, one week time when they started the whole campaign of COVID, 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 COVID? How did all of a sudden it hit up all them areas at one time and everybody just found out about it at the same time? Here in America and around the world, you must be out your mind if you think in a matter of five minutes, the whole world was infected. It was plotting. And we're going to talk about that. Get your seat. Sunday, February 11th, it's only $30-something dollars. Click the link. Go to my website at vickyplanet.com, vickyplanet.com, or just click the link above. I love y'all so much. I'm bringing this up because I want you all to know this is the Democrat Party in the United States at large getting karma for their mistreatment of us. I'm trying to show you the hypocrisy and the disrespect that they show us. They're getting what they deserve, and there's more coming. I got to run. I love you so much. I can't wait to see you again.